In this video, I just wanted to share my thought process when converting notes I take while reading books into permanent notes to store and refer to in my Obsidian Vault. I'll be converting notes from a book I just finished reading called A Guide to the Good Life by William Irvine, a book that goes over the different concepts and practices in Stoicism and its possible applications to modern life. Without any further ado, let's begin. To give some context on how I take notes, on the left over here are just notes I take while reading the book on my computer, while I summarize information, which is just generally organized based on chapters. I also like to read during transit on my way to school, so instead of taking notes, I highlight specific ideas and quotes on my Kindle and export them onto Obsidian using the Kindle Highlights plugin. If you want to use the same book note templates as me, be sure to check out my literature notes video for an in-depth explanation of their contents and my workflow. The first thing I would do is just work on my summary and reflection of the book by filling out my application note. In here, I just store some resonating quotes, summarize the book, take note of any key concepts and ideas, find personal relevance and connections from the book, and then finally, create future plans to apply the book in my life. This is covered in my other video, so I'm not really going to go over it. The summarized notes here include stoic practices like negative visualization, as well as stoic perspectives on different things like emotions, grief, anger, values on fame and just wealth and luxurious living, as well as concepts like old age and dying. Now that I have a good idea on what I'm working with, I can just look at my already existing notes to see where I can add all this information. So I already have a stoics, stoic, stoicism mock. There we go. And yeah, I, I just took some tiny notes here and there when reading meditations. So now it's just time to see how I can incorporate all this information into here and other parts of my vault. So if we scroll up, one of the first things is negative visualization. Essentially, negative visualization is thinking of potential future bad outcomes to better appreciate what you currently have. For now, I'm just going to make a practices header in here in the stoicism mock practices and then create a new note for the concept and then just create the link negative visualization. Create it. Also, if you're using the application template, feel free to just include this or any other new notes you create in the concepts or practices header. Negative visualization. So then if you head over here to this note and then look at the backlinks, it'll actually link to the book notes so you'd know where you're pulling the idea from. So I'm just gonna clean up this note real quick, create a link back to the stoicism mock, maybe even link to the specific header Instead of creating a header for stoic practices, you could also just create a new note, but there's not many other practices in here, so I think it would just be too tedious to have lots of notes with not much in them. So now I'm just going to copy everything in this header and then paste it into our note. Just to make it less of a wall of text, um, here's an example or a quote on how we can practice negative visualization. So I'm just going to put that header and then this is kind of thought provoking. So I'm just going to put this at the top. I don't know. It's how I personally like to style my notes. Just have a quote at the top that somewhat encompasses the idea. I'm just going to put a mindset header and then just put this in here just to better organize it. You can also just put this as a quote header and implement any quotes you have from the book, which is what I'm probably going to do. So now I'm just going to fold it since we're already done with it. And next is how Stoics deal with different negative emotions. So the next chapter is the dichotomy, is the dichotomy of control, which talks about understanding the difference between things that are up to us and not up to us. If we head back to the Stoicism mock, this actually falls under the discipline of will. So I'm just going to go over here and there's already an almost finished link here. Just gotta fix the spelling error. So yeah, I would just create, add some context to why it's related to this idea and then embed the note. Once again, I'll just add the link back to discipline of will and then copy the contents into here. This block over here about setting goals is also related to my goal setting note. So what I'm gonna do is just open that as well. 
and I might actually turn this into a separate note so it can easily be connected to both ideas. So to make the title easy to search, I'm just going to turn it into a sentence and I'm just going to say set, set goals based on the desired process instead of outcome. So then I'm going to copy this and then create this note, do the same thing, create the link at the top. But then here I'm actually going to connect it to goal setting as well as dichotomy of control. Then just paste it here. And if these notes are a bit empty, so what you could do is turn them into, uh, put a seed tag and then work on them later. But I'm too lazy for that. I have so many other book notes to do. So yeah. So I'm just going to close these. And let's see, the next thing is related to the different emotions and how stoics deal with them, which I can connect with my note on emotions. So I'll just open that real quick in a new note. See, look, now we're connecting stoic beliefs with biological stuff. I don't know, I find that kind of cool. For now, since this note is still kind of small, I'm just going to create a header and create one for negative emotions and then create notes for grief and anger and then create both and i'm just gonna tie this back to negative emotions if you don't know you can just put two hashtags oh what the heck put two hashtags and then type in the name of the header and it will search every note in your vault for it i don't have any other notes with the negative emotions header so it's able to find it. And then from there, I'm just gonna copy paste everything. And this seems good enough. So I'll actually just keep it as that. And then I'll head to the grief note, create that real quick, and then also copy paste. I also realized I haven't been adding these to my application note. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. I have a recent files page on my sidebar, so I'm just gonna use that real quick to see what notes we just created. If you want, you can also just turn the headers into actual wiki links. I will note and say that it's good to think about the purpose of notes because you're gonna wanna look back on this later on, like maybe, maybe a few months, maybe even years. It's good to provide enough substance in the note to like understand your mindset while writing it. So if you can, I would also include like maybe the feelings or initial thoughts you had when coming across this information. I'm just gonna create a header in the stoicism mock on values. But actually, I'll make the ideas more specific because I wouldn't want this in my general fame note because I might have some other more general things in there. I really like the message of this initial sentence so I'm honestly just going to turn it as a title and then reformat it a bit. Then I'll just create the note and then copy paste everything, connect it back to, I honestly don't even remember, so solicism values, I think. There we go. And then paste. And as you can see, I already had a link built into the note, which is also something you should be doing. You should actively be thinking on what connections you can make with other notes. I think I have a note on rejection. Let me just see. I actually don't know what's in it. Oh, there's nothing in it. Never mind. But if you make enough of these notes that point to no note, even if there is no, even if you don't have a note for this specific idea yet, if you do this enough times, you can realize the need for one. And then from there, you can start synthesizing all the ideas from the notes connected to it. Do I have one on social? Mm, no, I don't. I'll also copy this other stuff I just realized I forgot to include. And then lastly, luxurious living. Mm -hmm -hmm. Go back to the stoicism mock. If you want, you could just not have a note for it. I feel like these ideas would go well under minimalism. Now that I think about it, the idea in this note about how the same happiness can be achieved from less can be tied into something psychological about perception and then this one on possessions on focusing on functionality and necessity can match well with minimalism or you can set this as the title of a of an atomic note 
on how always striving for more will never lead to satisfaction. It, there's a lot of different ways to organize these notes, and honestly, I can tell you which one's best. Instead of values, I'll actually just put this under the three disciplines of perception. I'll just name it simplicity can be as satisfying as luxury. Link it back to the perception note and then introduce this idea a bit better. And then we can connect it with this idea by saying alternatively, we can adopt a minimalist mindset. And then let's just see if I have a note on it, which I do, minimalism. If you want to rename a note, just create a straight line like that and then include the name you want to put on the right. So yeah, these two are done as well. I'm just going to fold everything. And now we just have old age and dying and becoming a stoic. Now that I think about it, this idea kind of relates to negative visualization because it's saying that we should use, because it's saying that old age should actually make us feel more lively as we realize the value of our life and how limited time really is. So I'm just going to head to the negative visualization and then create the examples header. Copy paste. There we go. And honestly, I feel like only this line is important in that note. So I'm just going to turn that into a quote and then connect it with this idea. Just to speed things up, I'm just going to create a note that's just titled on becoming a stoic and put the content in here and this idea about consumerism kind of relates to our previous note on simplicity and luxury so I'm just going to create the example header and then put the content over here so yeah that is so now that my summarized notes are transferred, it's time to think on the quotes. Honestly, there's a lot of quotes here and I feel like I probably impulsively um, highlighted some of these, so I'll just go through a bit of them. For each of these quotes, I'll just consider whether it's necessary or if I can just summarize it into my own words because this is a lot of text. This one is just a shorter version, so I don't know why that's there. So in the book, they talk about how it's important to experience minor discomforts like maybe taking a cold shower or walking a bus stop or two. So I'm just going to turn this. I'm just going to search up discomfort. There we go. I actually have a note on it. And yeah, I'll just say paraphrasing the contents of this. I'll just say that the Stoics welcome discomfort in their life. Minor discomfort in their life to help prepare for when real tragedies happen. And I'm just gonna put an example like mentioned here. Going out in the cold or going shoeless. And then this quote can be put at the top. Most of these quotes are just benefits. So I'm actually going to create a benefits header and say that it can increase our comfort zones and allow us to be grateful for what we already have which I think is a note I have there we go if we check out the local graph I'm just gonna open a new tab and then tweak some settings increase the depth by one or two you can see that there's a decent amount of connections actually added a good amount of new notes to the vault each with their own respective ideas and if we head to the stoicism mock where most of the change happened you can see it's a bit more populated so yeah hopefully that was useful in some way i don't know i just noticed the time it's already 2 20 so i'm gonna end the video here thanks for watching leave a like if you found something useful i guess and yeah this has been John Maverick. Stay mindful.